Hey guys, so um, the very first thing I'm going to show you in this video, you see that this is a very long video, the first thing I want to say is if you stick through this whole video, you are going to know the bigger picture of what all it really takes to really get some income coming in online in your direct sales or affiliate marketing business. I'm um, in the right mindset that you need to have for growth and the best ways to move fast to start seeing results in your online business um, and break the cycle of failure. This is very important. Um, so I do encourage you to take the time to watch the majority of this video. The very first thing that I want to show you just to get out, out of the way is some payment proof because it is important that you know that this is real and I'm not just feeding you bull. And after we get into this payment proof, um, this video is not going to be pitching you any kind of program or anything. It's, it's going to be literally me speaking to you from the heart. Everything that I've learned and what all has got me to my level of, of success that I'm at 15 months later from being a total newbie. So let's go ahead and get this part out of the way. So you see it's from Power Lead System, which is um, if you click the link below this video, get the full rundown of Power Lead System. This is my um, number one favorite um, business opportunity that I am with that also has retail value with tools that can be applied for other home businesses. It's not like, you know, you're just selling a bag of hot air. I know that that has been a concern, you know, with a lot of people. Um, so I just want to show you that I just got paid $1,128, um, 1130 AM, and it will be in my bank account one to three business days from now. Um, and then I also got paid again um, a week or two ago, $1,965. So I just want to show you, you know, this definitely is real. Um, and go back to some of the other videos on my YouTube channel. If you want to see some proof from lots of other people, some of these people brand new, never even made a dollar in their life, please check out some of my other videos where we cover Powerly System in full. This is just a value video of me giving you some training um, and like an inside look of my thought process of how I was able to pull it all together and make it all happen for myself. Um, but Powerly System is composed of gold, diamond, and platinum. It includes really good training products. We have a 90-day live training group taking you from day zero, a total newbie, all the way up to day 90 in your home business. Step-by-step -step training, teaching you exactly what to do. Um, so Power Lead System is amazing, but that's all I'm going to say about it in this video. If you want to know the full rundown of Power Lead System, um, go ahead and just go to my website. Click the link below this video. It's kellysfreedompath.com for the full rundown. It is my favorite business that I'm currently in um, and it has been around five plus years the parent company has been around like 15 or 20 years it's something really long rock solid business the owners are active in the Facebook group every day there's a help tab the tech support is very active and responsive so it is a very involved and solid business with some people that I've been earning very well with PLS for years um, so let's go ahead and jump into the um, hour of pure value that I want to give you that that I just did on Facebook Hey guys, so it's showing that I'm live. This is my first time going live on Facebook, not using the OBS thing. Um, and also I apologize on my appearance right now. Um, and it's because I actually use a derma roller now. If any of you don't know what a derma roller is, it's actually like an anti-aging thing and it makes little micro cuts in your face and then you go to sleep um, and it's definitely one of the most effective skincare things. So that's why my face looks a little bit strange right now. Um, so anyways, what we are going to talk about today um, is how to move fast in your business and a growth mindset that I think that you should have. Um, and I do have some notes to keep me on track here so you don't see my computer screen, but I have it pulled up in my notes because you guys know that I do kind of tend to kind of go off the rail a little bit um, and just lose track of my thoughts. Um, I'm a person, I have it hard just to come up with stuff as I go, you know, and talk to the camera and everything. But as I keep going with the live, I tend to settle in a little bit more. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get the comments off the screen just so I don't get distracted. Um, and I'll check the comments here in just a minute. I um, mean, if you're watching this on YouTube later, um, you might want to skip forward about 10 minutes because I'm going to go into about the business. And that's going to be on YouTube, not on Facebook here. Um, because I am juggling about six or seven different income streams right now. And I do not feel like making a separate video for Power Lead System. So I'm going to tie in Power Lead System at the very 
end of this video after we cover this if you're watching this on YouTube later. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's talk about um, mindset and then ways to move fast in your online business. Um, so the reason why I want to talk about mindset is I used to really think that um, a lot of that is just cheesy. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. I just kind of thought it was cheesy um, and just a little bit, um, I mean, I'm not going to say stupid, but just a little bit like, okay, what's so important about that? Or I just thought it was mumbo jumbo, like wannabe Tony Robbins type stuff or just fluffy stuff, you know, that's not that important. Um, but it turns out it actually is important, and I'm going to tell you why. The reason why your mindset is important is because it really is what determines if you are going to actually stick with something long term. Because it's very um, easy to get the initial excitement, like whenever you join some something new, or you know, basically the dopamine rush that people get from like joining a new online opportunity or or a new way to make money online. You always get that new excitement rush. But what, but what happens, guys? You might be thinking what I'm thinking now. And then what happens after that initial excitement? Well, it doesn't always last. Um, so it does take some effort to keep yourself trucking forward even after that initial you know, rush of excitement runs off after some, sometimes a few days or maybe even a couple of months. Well, you have to keep yourself going. So mindset is important for your long-term success and your ability to continuously keep growing and keep generating income over time through months, through a year, then even through years. Um, and that's what people mean like whenever they say, um, the newbie that I was, let's say two, maybe three years ago, is completely different mind, completely different value set and everything than the person that I am now. That's what people mean whenever they say that. So um, I'm just going to go off my, my little notes here to keep me from going off the rail. Mindset um, equals committing yourself um, and write off a certain amount of money in terms of your, your financials whenever you're first getting started in your home business, your online business, even your Amazon store, um, whatever it is that you are doing. Go ahead and mentally write off in your head that certain amount of money that you just spend or will spend and just go ahead and accept it. Um, and then we're about to go into the second concept. But now I just want to elaborate on this a little bit more. Um, now, which we've pretty much already covered it in that one sentence. But, you know, like let's say you, you say um, I'm going to join this business at, I don't know, $200. Um, and I am going to set my marketing budget an additional two hundred dollars. Which in some industries, I, I don't know where where you are in your life or what you're doing, but in some industries that would still be chump change. But just as an arbitrary number, you know, two hundred invested to get started, and then two hundred dollars as a marketing budget. Mentally write it off. Mentally just consider that four hundred dollars. Now I don't mean in a negative way, like flush down the toilet. I mean just mentally move on from it. That's what you are going to use. You've accepted it. Um, don't let your emotions get involved. Um, that's that's what you're going to use, okay? Like me, like I will give you an example. Some weeks I, I spend on some weeks $500 or $600 in, in a week on a paid traffic budget for my direct sales and affiliate marketing and network marketing. I mean, we're going to go into a little bit later in this video of promoting multiple opportunities, but we're covering the mindset first. Then we're going to get into some marketing strategies on um, so anyways and whenever I spend that much I mean at first I, I did get a little bit bummed out because once you start seeing the money what's one of our first thoughts as humans we want to do when we see some new money come in we either want to spend it and celebrate or we want to hoard it and stack up our bank account and just watch it grow um, and then we we want the growth to happen out of thin air and we want to be able to scale up without you know um spending more well usually that's really not how how it happens so um you know so basically what i'm saying is like at first it did get painful accepting that i have to dig into my profits this very first little bit of money i was actually making online and then reinvest it in order to keep growing just mentally accept it um and i just think it depends on different personality types too as to um whether or not people can, you know, move themselves into this mindset shift easily or not. Like type A people that are just really go-getters and naturally action takers, probably very sporty and active, 
pro pro probably are um, more naturally, you know, risk takers, so to say. Um, and I'm sounds like I'm starting to ramble on about that, so we'll move on. So, you know, um, understand that to scale up, you you will spend more. Generally, I spend about twenty to thirty percent of what I make buying more traffic and stuff. There are some weeks I don't buy any traffic. I'm mean, aware going to be going into being flexible and going with the flow and that's um kind of where 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 that comes in um your your actions might differ week by week so the next thing take action when you are pumped and take action when you feel down um and this this goes back to whenever we said how people get that initial rush of excitement and that initial dopamine rush of joining a business or you know adding a new income stream or whatever that bit of excitement um and then that starts to go away because that's just how it works well you are still going to take action and dedicate yourself to the process and dedicate yourself to taking action and doing your marketing and growing your business when you feel down when you feel pumped when you feel excited when you feel sleepy when you feel angry when you're in a weird mood whatever um you're still gonna do it because that's that's just what it comes down to um and i just think that it just comes down to emotionally separating yourself and understanding or more like um this is a better way to put it zero in and this is what what people mean by when when they say you have to want success as much as you want to breathe and sometimes it's not that serious or that intense but it can become that serious like if you get in a slump or whatever reason or you have other things happening in your life and you're just finding yourself slacking off um well then in that moment you need to want success as badly as you want to breathe so you have to keep yourself going okay um zero in make it the number one just zero in just be like you know you have your blinders on or whatever it's called you have your 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 headlights on you're going straight ahead down the road no matter what um and then the next thing we're going to cover when you we've kind of already covered this when you feel like you are in, in a slump or any kind of weird mo mood um do whatever it takes to beat it so let's say you know you do get into a slump or you do have some other things going on in your life, but you know you still have to grow your business because what is the whole goal of everything? Of course, the micro goals and medium goals are gonna vary person to person, but I think a lot of us roughly kind of have a similar overall goal. And that is um, time freedom. Time is precious. We can get money back. We cannot get time back. Time freedom, um, and then a close second, financial freedom. Um, to not be tied on by money problems um and i'm not really going to elaborate into this too much in this video but i found whenever i was no longer having to worry about all that little stuff like you know having to keep bills paid and just stuff that people shouldn't anyone with a brain shouldn't have to have that on them you know it's just very very sad it's very very sad people should not have to really worry about just keeping a roof over their head or just the very basic stuff and once you have that covered with your online income and you're no longer focusing so much of your brain power your creative energy and basically almost your life energy itself on just you know trying to scrape together enough to eat and keep all the bills paid then it like expands your mind like it's just crazy um then your mind is just so free to wander where 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 wherever it wants to go your mind is just free to go wherever it wants to go you can um finally pick back up your intellectual pursuits on um, musical instrument art things that essentially like what some people say things that your soul wants that a lot of times we're just too mentally or physically drained thanks to our money problems so we can't do it um so anyways um so that's the overall goal. So just just keep that in the top of your mind, even whenever you don't feel like doing something. And also, I think you know, turn that negative voice into a positive one. Um, and we're going to go more more into that here in a second about that negative voice in your head. But you can turn it to a positive one. Like if I submit to this negative voice, and if I listen to this negative voice and slack off yet another day, and slack off tomorrow, and slack off the next day then I will not have time freedom and I will not be financially free. That's, that's just logic there. Um, and I often use logic to beat my own emotional negative voice that we all have in our head. 
Um, all right, now to do whatever it takes to beat it. So whenever you are in a slump or whatever, do whatever it takes to beat it. Um, you know, it's it's not good to keep staying in that slump. Now, I'm not talking about like medically depressed or um, an actual real like doctor diagnosed mental issue. I'm just talking about if you're in a little funk for whatever reason. Well, one of the top ways to beat it um, besides just ignoring it and keep trucking forward like a monster truck, um, motivational videos um, and books and audiobooks are the really the top three. Um, if you have like if you're a more social person, you can maybe have an entrepreneur buddy or someone you met here on Facebook. Um, you know, if you're in my team with with something, you might be in one of the many face Facebook groups. Um, Freedom Takers No Limits Team, um, the official Powerly System Facebook group, any of those groups, maybe you you can find um, a, a boost buddy or whatever you want to, you know, um, someone that you can talk with whenever you feel down, you can motivate each other. But for me, what helps me the most, just motivational videos. And these are very easy to find. So you'll just go to YouTube and you'll type in um, entrepreneur motivation or just something like that or how to pick yourself up when you're down. There's so much good material out there. You know, Les Brown, um, Grant Cardone. Um, I know he's kind of a controversial person now. Um, but yeah, so so it's very easy to find those motivational videos. Um, and so that's that's what helps me. You just have to do whatever it takes to not keep feeling that way. All right, the next one. Think big. We've kind of covered this. Um, understand it takes some money to make bigger money. And that goes back to that whenever we said that we're, we're going to mentally write off our expenses. We're going to accept it. And I don't mean in a negative way like, you know, flushing money down a toilet. I mean just accept that it takes money to make money and be at peace with it. And be excited about it, okay? It takes money to make money and then it takes more money to make bigger money, that makes sense. And that goes back to whenever we were talking about scaling up. Well, if you wanna scale up, then then you're gonna be putting putting forth bigger money to scale higher. Okay, next thing, surround yourself with people higher than you. How do you surround yourself with people higher than you? You know, you might be wondering, why would anyone wanna to talk to a newbie? Or why would um, higher and success people wanna to talk to someone who is lower in success, who's maybe not even on their team. Well, one, you can maybe join them in whatever venture that they are in in order to try to gain their mentorship. So that's one way. But here's here's what, what I think, here's a really good way. Um, just connect with them on Facebook. Um, and don't get worried maybe if they don't directly message you back. Um, that's, that's just part of it. I guess people get busy and everything, but you can start commenting on their post. Um, but rule one, don't ever pitch them. Don't ever pitch them your business opportunity. Just, just don't. Um, number two, don't try to get value before giving value. Act like a human, not a user. And that might come across harsh, but I was actually reading about this on the Charles Go blog, and that's Charles N.G. Oh, I was reading about that on his blog about how do you mingle with people more successful than you? And I completely agree with his tips and he and he, and he's just big on just, you know, just talk to people like they're a human. Don't really be a user. Don't come at them like a leech, like immediately asking them questions about business. What are all your sources? How how much money are you spending to make it? Um, can you lock arms with me and coach me starting now? Generally, that's not really the way to get on their good side and successfully mingle with successful people long term to integrate yourself into their social circle. That's not the way to do it. Um, so just like we just said, talk to them like they're a normal person and ask them about their day. Comment on their just, just Facebook posts. And whenever you are talking to them by messenger or Skype or phone or whatever else, ask them about their family. Ask them about what's what's been going on in your life. Um, you know, it has to be a give and receive. Give, 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 and then you will receive. That, that's generally how it works. And then after they like you, they just think you're a good person and everything, then it's okay to start talking business. Um, all right, and then the next one, um, lastly, block out negativity. Um, and, and this is the last one for, for mindset, and we're about to go into how to move fast in your business. 
All right, lastly, block out negativity. I know some people have asked me, Kelly, how do I deal with negative people in my life or people that don't believe in me? Or I even have some people say, Kelly, I haven't got started yet because I have so much negativity in my life and people who don't believe in me and it's just killing my ambition. Here's my answer to you. All right. If it's someone close to you, even family, just agree to disagree. Or if they won't let up, then just be the observer. And what does does that mean? So if they're being negative to you um, and they just pretty, pr pretty much almost treating your dream and your goal like dirt. Well, if it's like a family member, you know, I'm not saying to completely X them out of your life, but ask them, can we agree to disagree? Can we agree to not talk about this subject around each other? Let's just not talk about it instead of completely burning the bridge. Um, and if they refuse to let up, then just one ear, not the other. Be the observer. Um, and let's talk about what that is. Being the observer is basically a Buddhist-inspired philosophy to be less reactive. What does reactive mean? That means how fast we are to let our immediate emotions take control of us mentally and just essentially be a slave to your emotions. Um, so by being the observer, you can be less reactive. Observe what's happening, um, but see it as a third party, almost like an out-of-body experience. I'm not saying to mentally go cuckoo, but I hope that makes sense. Um, just listen to what they're saying, but just pretend like you are listening to someone else. Like, let's say you're at a cafe. Just pretend that you are at a table across the room and you're just casually listening to what that other person is saying. I do that a lot. It has made me a lot more calm, cool, and collected. I am way less reactive now than when I was whenever I first started seeing success with online marketing like 15 months ago. Way less reactive. It's going to really help you. Trust me. So just block out the negativity. That's really all I can say. Just block out whatever negativity you can eliminate. Just block it out. Um, and keep watching your motivational videos and do whatever it takes to keep yourself committed. We are now going to go into ways to move fast with your online business. So this kind of goes into the concepts. One of the top keywords on YouTube is how to make money online fast. And then it's how to make money online fast and easy. And the thing is, here's the number one thing that you need to know. If you're wanting to make money fast, like same day or even within a couple days, you're better off going to a pawn shop or and if you are just desperately broke with barely a roof over your head then i would advise do not start a home business right now until you are kind of in a better place do not use your rent money or your essential money to keep yourself alive by investing into your home business you need to consider possibly getting a second part-time job or possibly driving for Uber or something like that if you are looking to make money super fast because understand that this is not a get rich quick scheme really any all of the different ways to make money online none of it really is a get rich quick scheme but you know it is possible to see results faster online in affiliate marketing or direct sales faster than it would you know other ventures because like if it's a brick and mortar business like let's say you're building a McDonald's well, you have to make, wait many, many months to even get the business up, much less, you know, begin serving burgers and making some money. Um, and then, you know, it takes forever to get into profit and everything. So understand the bigger picture that making money online, at least with direct sales and affiliate marketing, which is where most of my experience is, is faster than a lot of other ventures. So we've covered that. Don't treat it like it's a casino or anything, but you can move fast. So keeping that in mind, let's go into how can you move fast while understanding that it is not instant nor a get-rich-quick scheme. Number one, all right, is taking action as fast as possible. The first way to take action is taking the time to go through your training and whatever other research slash education you dedicate yourself to. Like let's say you have your training for whatever um, – program that you are in um, and maybe you've you've picked up some other little things you want to learn too. like maybe let's say you bought a 
buying traffic course or some secondary training or something you would want to dedicate yourself to that too okay um understand that going through your training that is a requirement because how are you supposed to start earning if you will not put in the learning time and you will not essentially you know spend the time it takes to even learn what you're going to do you know and I think that this also comes down to the concept of being restless and impatient of wanting this to be a sprint rather than a slow longer marathon um so so get out of the impatient mindset or like I I don't want to spend the time to go through all of this can you just tell me what's the most important well you do need to go through all of your training because that is building the foundation that you need there is no way to skip that you have to put in the learning time and face the little learning curve um and I won't really talk about my other ventures in this video but some of you may know I am doing a couple of other non recruiting ways to make money online lately and I, and I'll go ahead and just be completely honest with you any of few people that know me know that I'm very transparent and, and honest and I will say that some of this other stuff that I am learning slowly is anywhere from five to ten times harder than what we are doing with affiliate marketing slash network marketing slash direct sales you know whatever you want to call it way harder so the learning curve is pretty small and easy to understand compared to the grand scheme of things of what some other people are doing I wish I can turn my phone on silent but I'm not gonna go back there to grab it all right so the next one okay don't get stuck in the research slash learn cycle that's called analysis paralysis okay um here's like an example for you you know I sometimes get a lot of people who are so focused so focused on just little technical stuff or just little things like a misspelling on a landing page um like I'll give you an example recently with one of my instant pay um programs that I'm in well I make websites for people and there's a pre-made image that I use on there and apparently this individual thought that there was a um spelling error or a punctuation error and this person pretty much threw an absolute fit and got very upset about that and so I told this person this is the exact same website that I made eighty thousand dollars with last year and I cannot edit that even if you perceive it to be an error because it's a pre-made image I'm not going to go into Photoshop you know and custom edit something for you on your free website um but yeah you know and he got all wrapped up in that when you know you can have the best looking website in the world or the best looking sales funnel in the world none of that really matters if you're not taking action then and getting out to front of people um bottom line like if you stop watching this video here or anything just know this how you're gonna make money online with affiliate marketing direct sales network marketing is by getting what you have and getting your sales funnel in front of as many humans as possible in front of as many eyeballs as possible do not get stuck in analysis paralysis don't get stuck just doing research on um, don't get bogged down in a bunch of technical stuff like some of the people that get started with me in power lead system 2 um, have struggled with this I mean I've struggled with this too but I'm just kind of giving you some examples I can think of offhand or um, you know don't get obsessed with like the capture page and everything your first thing is you just need to hit the ball running and get your feet wet do the technical stuff um, and all the tweaking and everything just do that later okay just do that later that is not your number one factor that's going to determine whether or not you're going to make money okay so let's let's scrap the analysis par paralysis and you do that by once you have a grasp and some level of comfort with what you're doing in your marketing training it's now time to jump into the deep end it is now time to start you know adding friends on Facebook um, making Facebook live videos making YouTube videos um, writing your own emails separate from the pre-written emails um, getting yourself in front of people doing text blasts just anything to get your opportunity in front of people 
buying solo ads. It's it's now time to pick what you're going to do and do it. And then just another little example I've written for you. You know, um, people like to compare a lot of things in affiliate marketing to sports. So I'll do that too. Um, you know, you can read books about basketball techniques all day, but it's not going to help until you get out on the court playing the game. Or you can read tons of books about the rules of the road and how to drive a car, but you're not really going to know how to drive a car and be good at driving the car until you get in the driver's seat and start driving. So I really hope that makes sense. All right, the next one. Um, and we are per pretty much almost done with the ways to go fast. I'm sorry this has, you know, kind of been a little bit longer video. Well, that's nothing out of the norm with me with my 25, 30 minute long videos. Um, that's, that's just how I am. I just want to make sure that you guys completely get what I'm talking about. All right, next one. Be flexible. Be an independent learner. Be able to search and find an answer to whatever it is you have going on with whatever issue you, you have while you wait on a response from your sponsor or if you're waiting on a response from like a Facebook group or from someone else. Um, be able to independently, um, you know, do some research and kind of find answers to your problems while you're waiting on a response to whatever's going on. Um, because we are self-employed, um, and I think most people know this, but there are certain traits that really help whenever you are your own boss. And, well, I think that most of us that want to be an entrepreneur or be self-employed or be our own boss, most of us have an independent streak. And if we do not, then we need to kind of foster that independent streak to become more independent um, and kind of go our own way. So learn to be an independent learner. Learn how to Google Learn how to search for YouTube videos. Like, for instance, I'll give you an example. And I really hope I'm not sounding mean with any of this. I'm just being completely honest. And I, I love helping people and stuff. Don't get me wrong about that. I'm just saying, you know, it's always good to, while you're waiting for a response about your problem, to also be able to search um, for your own stuff. Plus, you will feel good if you're able to solve something by yourself, too. Um, and I know that because I've had some people while they were waiting on a response from me, say overnight, proudly told me the next day that they figured it out and they felt really good about themselves for that. So I hope that makes sense. And I'll give you another example. Like a long time ago, when I was first setting up my AWeber, which is an email autoresponder, I um, got really confused of how to load the little email codes to load all the pre-written emails and then how to edit each one. Um, and I was like, my head felt like it was going to explode. I was really stressed out. Um, but I said to myself, I said, I know that I can do this. I'm not going to message my sponsor just yet. And so what I did was I typed in, in, in YouTube, I typed in how to load email series in AWeber. And I found a great 15 minute long video and I solved it. And then I messaged my sponsor and I said, I was going to ask you a question and I was able to find it myself. So you know, and that feels good when you're able to do that. Next one, we have just a couple more. Think big. Think big. And by thinking big, I mean think of your overall goal, okay? Um, and do not get emotionally attached to the money spent, um, which we've pretty much covered that. Um, the money that you are spending and the money that you plan to spend to scale up and grow your marketing, or let's say you're not doing paid traffic yet, but you're planning on it, don't get emotionally attached to the money that you are going to use. Just mentally write it off. Just tell yourself it's a non-negotiable commitment, okay? And then you're going to um, be able to separate yourself from the pain of spending money and se separate yourself from the pain of seeing your bank account a little bit lower. And that will become a thing of the past and you'll just become more business minded and growth minded. Also, understand you are not married to a business. The businesses may change. The programs may change. Okay. You are married to your routine and your goals. Now, what that means is, you know, um, well, I really think that's, that's self-explanatory, but um, like, for instance, whenever I joined Power Lead System and I was mainly promoting like an InstaPay business, someone said to me, they're like, oh, I thought you were really dedicated um, and passionate 
about this this one business and i'm like well i am not married to the business and if if you see something that seems like a really good income stream for you or a really good opportunity do it yes by all means do it yes yes but also say don't really join multiple income streams until you're making money with the prior one and then add to it you know then maybe add another one but anyways you're not married to a business um, and pick up good opportunities whenever you see them. And also remember, you are married to your routine and um, and your goals. Whatever your overall goal is and your routine and your actions that you take to get there, that is what you are married and committed to. All right? Um, and so this is how you um, make your routine pretty much. Map out a plan to get to your biggest goal and then break it down into smaller, little, easy, and achievable goals. Like, think of what's your big goal. I want you to think big. And you could even leave this as a comment on this video. Or if this is Facebook Live, tell me your biggest goal right here in the comments. What is your biggest goal if you are just shooting for the moon? My biggest goal is, um, well, I hit six figures last year. Not telling you to brag. You know, and I do help people all day, so... You know, I don't think it makes me a jerk just acknowledging, yes, I hit six figures last year. Um, so my goal for really the next two years is like $300,000 in a year. That is my big, 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 beefy, ugly goal. All right, now break it down into little smaller goals, okay? Um, and now how do you even uh, keep yourself motivated to reach these little smaller goals? Like maybe your smaller goal is um, – Let's say that you're just getting started. Let's say you want to make one commission a week. Well, as soon as you hit that and make your goal, you know, three commissions a week. Um, and then maybe turn it into one commission per day. Okay, so that's an example of smaller goals. Or maybe you're, you're going through training. Make your little goal. I'm going to sp spend 20 minutes per day going through my, <clears throat> excuse me, going through my training. All right. Um, now, how do you commit yourself to even these little micro goals? All right, so next point, keep your main why in your mind, which is the big why, the uh, financial freedom and time freedom. Keep that in your mind, okay? Um, and then give yourself smaller rewards for those little mini goals along the way to keep your motivation fresh. Like sometimes I make one of my rewards for a little goal of mine. I mean, I know this is bad, but I make it a piece of chocolate cake. Um, I am not super into materials i am not a big shopping girl i am not a big makeup girl i'm i'm into skincare not not really makeup but um yeah i'm i'm not super into shopping or you know clothes or anything so i don't really do a lot of shopping sprees as a room board like i'll give myself a piece of chocolate cake um yeah which i know isn't good and so that is a reward that i will give myself for a croissant i will allow myself to have that as a room board or well, sometimes I do my nails, as you can tell, I, I really need to get them done. And then I actually, here, I'll use that as a live example. I have given myself, um, I'm going to run board myself by getting my nails done whenever I hit $2,000 by the end of this week, which right now it is Friday. So if I've made at least $2,000 by Sunday, I am going to let myself get my nails done as a reward. So think of little rewards you can give yourself, uh, maybe even for your family. Like, you know, let's say you have kids, 90% of people do. Let's say you have kids, you know, um, I'm going to let my kid pick out a Hot Wheel or I'm going to take us all out to dinner. Um, my spouse, my kids, I'm going to take us all out to dinner on Friday night if I reach this goal. So there's a perfect example and, you know, it makes you feel good. That also gives you a little mini dopamine rush, that same little dopamine rush that we get whenever we join a fresh brand new business or a shiny ball. All right, next one. Now, the actual marketing techniques to move fast. I'm, now, I'm not going to go super into um, each of these techniques because it is in all of your training um, and in my private group and everything. But the best way to move fast with your actual marketing that you're going to be doing each day, combine your free traffic with your paid traffic and be growing your brand and building trust with your people all at the same time. That is how you can move fast as possible. All right. So let's say you're doing a little bit of paid traffic. 
Commit that you will buy a certain amount each week or whatever your time schedule is every two weeks or every five days, every three days, whatever your personal plan is. Um, and if you don't have a plan or don't know how to make a plan, and if you do have a little bit of a traffic budget, let's just keep it easy. Tell yourself that you're going to buy paid traffic one time per week. Like let's say you get paid on Fridays. I know a lot of people get paid on Fridays. We'll say um, on Friday you are going to buy your paid traffic then for the following week, okay? Um, so commit yourself to that. And then at the same time that you are running your paid traffic, commit that you are going to add, um, and these are just rough examples, 20 plus new friends on Facebook. And what I tell everyone and what I do myself, you need to be adding 15 to 30 or 40 new Facebook friends each day. Um, and long story short, where do you find Facebook friends? You can find friends on the friends list of big time marketers, work at home groups. Um, training groups for home businesses are very good because you, you know those people then already know the deal. They already are going to know that, you know, it's not going to be free and they already have a little bit of home based business experience. So those would be good people that you would want on your friends list. One of the things that I do, um, Here's two quick tips. Look at MCA groups. Like if you type in MCA on Facebook, go ahead and get yourself added to a couple of MCA groups and then friend request a couple of those people every single day. Um, and also only friend request people that are 30 days or newer to the group because you don't want to friend request an inactive person. Then a second tip is, you know, like those little money making apps that people were using for a little while where there was one called dosh that was really hot last year and a lot of small time marketers jumped on that um and so those that would be a really good place type in dosh there's even some like dosh training groups and stuff that are still on facebook well add yourself to those too so there's some good examples to get a little bit more targeted friends all right so i just told you how to do that um now add 15 to 30 of those people every single day um, because you got to have an audience, um, and commit yourself to this is just roughly speaking, make one to two new Facebook posts per day. If you're doing Instagram, put those same posts on Instagram. If you're doing LinkedIn, make sure that you are making a couple new connections there each day. Just type in network marketing in the search bar of LinkedIn. Um, hit the add connection button on a couple of those every single day. Um, for YouTube, you can commit yourself to at least two or three new videos each day to save time you can go live on Facebook um, and then download the video and then put it on YouTube then then you, you just saw uh, kill two birds with one stone um, and you have it now on Facebook and YouTube um, that is growing your audience and that's getting you leads in multiple places um, also most of you should be doing email marketing I didn't do email marketing until I was like three months in. It was a big mistake. And now I'm going to be super upfront about this. You're not really going to be automated if you do not have a capture page and are not doing email marketing. It Because it's, it pretty much is automatically taking your leads for you. Because imagine if you didn't have um, an opt-in page to capture an email. Well, one, you can't build an email list and you can't email them. Two you're going to have to manually keep up with those leads like in WordPad or on your phone or something. Four, you're going to have to manually then reach back with each one of them to follow up. Um, yeah, you know, there's just so many reasons you need to have an email list. I use Aweber. Um, I know Power Lead System comes with um, its own autoresponder, but it only lets you email up to 500 people at once. That's just the way it is. You know, it's free. It comes with Power Lead System. So... Um, after you hit 500 leads, I, I really think you need to go ahead and switch over to Aweber. It's only $19 a month, then it slowly increases um, after you have like, a, I, th I think it's 2,000 leads and then the price goes up. But, you know, that's the cost of doing business. This is another example. Just mentally write it off. Just understand that's what is required. Don't get negatively, emotionally upset about spending the money. Just write it off. Um, so then emailing your list one to two times per day, um, because that builds trust too. So now people can see videos of you. Video marketing is very powerful. A lot of people ask me, can I make money without videos? 
And the answer is yes. But, you know, if you don't want to have a YouTube channel and you're not going to go live on Facebook, then I say at least please still make some videos, but just put them on YouTube as unlisted. Then, you know, brand people can't find them, but then just send it to your email list or maybe post the link then on your Facebook. That way, you know, you don't have a big channel out there, but people can still see you and hear you, um, you know, link it in your emails. Um, so that is how you grow fast. That summarizes it up. You basically get as much marketing out there as possible. And as far as topics of what to talk about, what really helped me at first is just find some marketers that are successful, that a lot of people seem to like. What kind of content are they creating? What do their emails look like? Um, what are their topics in their YouTube videos? What are they posting on Facebook? And I'm not saying directly copy them, but take inspiration. Have a little notepad or even just WordPad or Google Docs on your computers, whatever method you use to keep track of little notes. Start writing down topics that you can talk about in Facebook posts and YouTube and everything. Um, so, um, and then that covers it with the social media. Um, and with paid traffic, well, it's pretty much the same thing because the whole point with paid traffic is to get them then on your email list, okay? Um, then once they're on your email list, you can start emailing them, giving them value, building trust with them, and then, of, of course, sending them back to your business's sales page over and over and over then after so long after they trust you or whatever maybe they were broke maybe they're not broke anymore um maybe they didn't trust you then but they trust you now you know they they might watch you for a couple of months or a couple of weeks but these people will start to join as time goes on but that's the point of paid traffic is just to get people onto your list you know some people get upset about upfront sales but let's look at the bigger picture, you know, upfront sales with your paid traffic, I'm um, in solo ads and everything. Yeah, that's great, you know, and it's always awesome if we get enough upfront sales to almost cover the cost of our marketing or even break even on the cost. But it is not the overall big picture and it's not the overall goal. It's just to get as many people then added to our email list. We need as many people to fill out that opt-in page as we can. Okay, then you have to start building trust with them the same way you would anyone on Facebook. And another tip is I give all my contact information at the bottom of every single one of my emails. On every single one of my emails, you're going to see a big blown up picture of my face. You're going to see my email address. You're going to see um, a direct link to my favorite sales presentation offered by my company. In this case, it would be, well, not my company, the company I'm affiliated of. But in this case, it would be Powerly System, so a link to that. Um, you're going to see a link to my Facebook um, and a link to my blog where they can read my blog. So all different ways people can see me and connect with me. And that's at the bottom of every single one of my emails. Um, next one, we only have two more to go over. Okay, create your personalized plan. Okay, because the plan is going to be different for everybody. Think of how you want to market. Think of the amount of time you have. Think of um, how much you can spend. Now dedicate yourself. Stick to it 90% of the time. Be flexible and fluid and able to change anything that is not working or stops working. Or, you know, if a business goes down and you add a new one, you know, be flexible. But you need to stick with it no matter what changes. Stick to it 90% of the time. When I say 90% of the time, is we don't want to, you know, eliminate the joy of being spontaneous in, in life or anything. So it's okay if, uh, you know, you don't you don't stick with it all of the time. Well, I'll say, you know, um, out of seven days in a week, stick with it five days a week. And then take a couple of days just to absolutely do, do nothing or maybe plan your week ahead on those days. Like yesterday, um, see what I do. I actually have an automated email series for every program and business that I am in and then I also write one handwritten from scratch email every single day too well yesterday night last evening I just didn't feel like it um not not for any specific reason I just didn't feel like it and um and I told myself I said well um I have stuck with it um for about five days straight now um and it's, it's been a pretty good week so I'm, I'm just gonna skip the email and <laughs> I didn't do crap last night 
I didn't do jack from like 5 p.m. onward up until like 9 a.m. the next day. So I didn't do anything for like a solid 15 hours. And that's okay to do that sometimes. Just dedicate yourself like five days of the week. All right. And so what's what's the overall big thing I'm trying to tell you? Remember, it's a numbers game. Going by math and understanding that it is a numbers game as far as your leads and your audience is watching your marketing and your effort to be a human um, and connect with people and build trust and build relationships combined with just being yourself and showing your personality. It is inevitable. You will begin to build your tribe. You will get leads and you will get sales that will increase rapidly. And I say increase rapidly is because, you know, we're, we're harnessing the power of the Internet. Um, we don't know how many people are looking at our marketing and stuff every single day. Um, I would say um, the average people that has like that's that's been doing at least a couple of months of marketing probably have um, a couple hundred people every single day silently watching them. Like I'm not kidding about this. Um you don't know who's watching and in the world of the internet like it is just millions and millions and millions of people that are looking for ways to make money online um and are looking for a home business to get in, involved with so just understand you know how huge this really is and don't downplay yourself understand like what we just said and i'm going to repeat this just so that you really get it you will begin getting leads it is inevitable you will begin getting sales. That is inevitable. It will increase rapidly because that is the nature of the Internet, especially as you scale up. You begin having more friends and connections on Facebook. So you, you begin getting more people watching your YouTube. You have more people um, seeing your email marketing and even responding to your emails. Okay, um, then as you scale up, everything that you're doing is going to increase rapidly. And you will also get on autopilot and keep in mind what we just said you can't really be on autopilot if you um do not have a capture page and you're not capturing your leads email address and you're not doing email marketing um you're it's it's difficult to um, get sales that come in while you sleep you know if you're not automated but yeah the automation is going to start happening as you build a momentum and then you begin waking up to sales in your sleep okay all right, the very last one goes back to, you know, um, some people disagree to have multiple business opportunities. Um, and I, th I actually think it's, it's good to have a couple um, after you are making income, though, with each one. Um, so have a wealth portfolio of, um, you know, your different online businesses, whatever it is that you're doing. All that have different compensation plans, all at different pri pricing points. Do marketing for each one. You know, a lot of people ask me, how do you make money with each business that you are in? And my answer is, I do marketing for each one. For me, is I buy solo ads to each one. I do videos on each one. I do Facebook posts on each one. I do Instagram posts on each one. Um, I have my blog connected to every social media website. I have my blog connected to my LinkedIn that's it in a nutshell. Or if you're doing text blasting, there's a lot of alternative ways to do paid traffic. Um, and I don't mean to um, completely go off track again, but as far as paid Facebook ads, a lot of people ask me about that. Facebook ads are not really network marketing friendly very much. It's a little bit more advanced, but I do know one way to kind of get around it is link people to a webinar if if you can do now don't get information overload means me saying all this i'm just saying um you might be able to get away with getting tons of leads with a facebook ad that doesn't get your account banned and still network marketing if you link people to a webinar page you cannot link to them to just a standard opt-in page facebook will ban you and take your ad down if you link them to like a webinar you know, where you loosely have a topic and then also introduce them to your business opportunity, then that's kind of like a little hack. But I don't do any of that. You know, a lot of people tell me, you know, what's the secret sauce? What's the secret? I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm active on social media. I'm building my audience. Um, I have a YouTube that I put at least two videos up per, per weekend. I have a big email list that I just built over time. Um, and I send one to two emails every single day. And for my paid traffic, I do solo ad and to a lesser extent, text marketing. And that's 
really it for my paid traffic, y'all, really. Um, I keep it simple. The solo ads are fine as long as you have a good vendor, but we're not going to go into all that with this one. So anyway, so that's how you have multiple income streams. So we just covered have a wealth portfolio of all different kinds, you know, of different business opportunities with different pricing points and everything. Do marketing for each one. Multiple opportunities are going to hit multiple people. People have different needs. Some people want to earn residual income. Some people want to earn a upfront commissions. Some people want to market a physical product. Some people want a digital product. Some people want a certain kind of compensation plan. Some people want something super cheap. Some people want big ticket, okay? So what happens if you have a couple of completely different things you can off offer people? Well, now you can solve a variety of different pain points for a, a variety of different people. Also, if you have a very slow week with one of your businesses, well, one or two others might be going strong that week. So, and that's always good to have multiple income streams coming in. Um, so on the Facebook Live, I'm now about to end the Facebook Live. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, we are now going to go into about um, the Power Lead system. I'm going to talk to you about it. We just had Wednesday, which was another payday. Um, and I'm going to talk to you about all of that. So I'm going to look at the comments here. Hey, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to my live. Um, so, yeah, if any of you have any questions about anything that we've covered, just feel free to send me a Facebook message. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and get off here. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll go live again soon. And let, let me know, guys, if you have any specific topics you want me to talk about in the future or any more free training to give here on Facebook, let me know, and I will gladly do it. Um, I always love getting suggestions and seeing what you guys want to see. I mean, you guys have a wonderful upcoming weekend.